Tackle Junkies, what's going on fellas? Back here in the tackle room, one main reason I'm doing a video in the tackle room today is just to double check to make sure you know all the camera equipment works. You guys haven't seen my latest video or the one before this, check that out. I was trying to do something different for you guys, a little top water challenge, trying out a few new baits, and the wind blew the tripod over. I had both my GoPros on there, my mic. Um, got kind of wet, pretty muddy. And far as I know, everything's working. I made some um, quick little videos, sent those to my editor. He checked them out. Everything, everything seemed okay, but you know, I just want to double check with you guys on this video. Let me know on the audio quality, video quality, make sure nothing's changed you know, since my last video. So hopefully all the camera equipment is fine. It, it appears fine to us. So we're just going to uh, do a couple unboxing videos. I got some biospawn stuff, some tackle warehouse stuff, some stuff you guys may have not seen if you didn't watch my last video. One from biospawn here, uh, nothing major in this box. They got some new hats in. They got some new um, hoods in as well. I'll pick one of those up next month, but I like the new hat here, trucker style. It's got the vented deal in back there. Keep your head nice and cool. So pretty slick there, picked up one of those. And this whole box here, guys, Where's my address? My editor yells at me. Okay. Whole box here, guys, of 4.5 plasma tails. You guys know I'm not much of a finesse guy. I use these for uh, trailers on a chatterbait the most. I mean, I love tossing a chatterbait. And these right here, man, I'll tell you what, this color right here, if you guys fish that pretty stained and muddy water, you like chatterbaits, try red bug on the back of a black and blue chatterbait. You can thank me later. Killer color right here, guys, on the back of a chatterbait. We got red bug, uh, green pumpkin plasma, uh, watermelon red. Uh, what are the color I got in here? Purple fire. More red bug. We got some uh, Bama bug. And guys, you can use my code at TJ81 to get 15% off your biospawn your biospawn order. That's still good for new tech lures as well. Uh, sprayed grass. I said this whole this box is full of nothing but um, 4.5 plasma tails. So that's pretty much what I got. Just a couple of each color, and uh, like I said, mainly guys, I use these for uh, my chatterbait trailers. I mean, I love them. I mean, I use some other ones as well. I got a video on that, which I'll link down below. You guys can check that out as well. Speaking of chatterbaits, if you guys haven't seen. The video where my uh, cameras got blown over, I did a quick little unboxing in that video, so I haven't checked these out yet or used these yet. These are the jackhammers. You guys know I love the shock blades, but there's a lot of hype on this lure here, uh, especially for the price. I mean, I believe they're like 16 bucks. I got a little discount on them, I think 15, 20% off. Um, where I get these at Monster Fishing Tackle was having a sale. I think it was 15% off, so I picked a few of them up. This one here is B Hype Delight. It's his um, bluegill pattern there. We got a black and blue, and we got a white. Three pretty solid colors here. And um, you know we'll be checking these out here. Obviously, I love, like I said, the shock blades, but these, like I said, are twice as much. And I'm just curious if the hype is um, you know, is real on these baits here. I mean, it's I've seen quite a few reviews on these, and guys are saying they're worth the money. But man, I sure hate to break off <laughs> you know, a $16 chatterbait. So hopefully uh, they are worth Worth the money, and like I said, I'll let you guys know my thoughts on them. But I mean, if you haven't checked out the shock blades, definitely check those out. Heck of a chatterbait for the price. Also picked up another Whopper Plopper 110 here in powder. Just a white color there. And then what else did I pick up from them? Another pack of the Zacos. Zaco, Zacco, chatterbait trailer there. This color really. I mean, it looks killer. You guys can see that. Why is this looking goofy on the, there we go. I'm trying to look at my phone while I'm putting this up to the camera and it's delayed, so it's looking all weird. But that's the Zacco. I think it's called Electric Shad. Now, online, it looked more solid, like a solid white belly to it or a cream. And this appears more translucent. It'll still look killer on the back of a white chatterbait. But there's a little close-up look of it. That is electric shad. So pretty pumped to try those out. Now you notice here too, these just have like a like a bait fish uh, type deal to them. If you can see that, the tail. Let me just take one out. 
they don't really have any swimming action. You'll get some vibration out of them and all that, but they don't really have any swimming action like, oh man, the bag just ripped open. They don't have any swimming action like a swim bait. That tail just gonna dance around and all that. But sweet looking color. One thing you gotta think about though, I've been talking to quite a few guys about this recently, with a trailer for your chatterbaits, a chatterbait has a nice, real tight vibration to it. And if you used to go putting on like a swim bait that's got a slower, wider action to it, your action altogether won't be as consistent because like I said, you have pretty much two different actions. So when I'm throwing a trailer, I pretty much like a, a do nothing trailer and I let the chatterbait itself give the action to the trailer. If that makes sense to you guys? So I don't really want a swim bait as much with an extra action, you know what I mean? Uh, I just rather have the chatterbait give the action to the trailer. So like a straight tail worm, like the plasma tail, something like this. Uh, the Strike King Blade Minnows, like I said, I just let the chatterbait, the vibration, give the action to the trailer. When you have too much action on the back of a chatterbait, that's when it throws the action off altogether. It's real inconsistent. It doesn't constantly vibrate. So, All right, when last up here, we got a little something from Tackle Warehouse. Where's the address here? So my editor doesn't yell at me. Oh, get my knife out. This here I actually wanted to play around with this week. Like I said, I didn't get out there and fish. You know, I actually got one more thing here. We'll save that for last. You guys are going to like that. I have to rush through this. The video is already too long because I like to talk so much. All right, we'll just make this quick. There's a few different baits in here. My lipless game, lipless crankbait is pretty weak. I really only have like um, some uh, red eye shads, which I use those the most. I got some Excaliburs. And that's pretty much it. So I want to pick up some different ones here. These here are the, those look pretty cool. These are the uh, Arashi, Storm Arashi Vibe, the Rattling Vibe. You guys can see that? The, um, you guys can see the back there. It's kind of thin. If you can make that out. Probably not, I'm taking one out here in a second. But, um, you were supposed to have like a quicker startup speed on them. They got that uh, rotating hook hanger, um, self-tuning line tie. That's got a soft knock rattle. These are two and three quarter inch, nine sixteenths ounce. Uh, let's see here. This one here is Red Craw. Good looking color there. So we'll take this one out. I don't get too crazy with colors on rattle traps, you know, like shad patterns. You know, something in the chartreuse, an orange, and then a red craw. It's got a pretty unique shape to it. You guys can see that. It's real thin, tapers, and then it gets a little fatter there at the tail. It's got that, um, Self-tuning line tie, so like if you're going over, I don't know, a star or not a like a lay down or something like that, and you hit it, the bait itself can tip forward. If you guys can see that, I'm showing that that well. It can tip forward, and maybe you won't get hung up as easy. Uh, like I'll play around with that to really find out. It does have the rotated hook hanger, so you can put bigger hooks on there. Overall, though, man, it's a really nice looking bait. I really like that. So we playing around with that one. Then I got a few other colors of that. Uh, this one here is, what's this called? Moss, mossy Shark Craw. Structure's color. And we got, gotta have this yet. I love this color. This one here is just black silver shad. I've been using the, uh, their square bills, the rattling square bills pretty often. And here's something else that I really love. And, you know, I haven't talked too much about it. I'm just trying, I'm saying, trying to keep them quiet. But, you know, um, I know there's a lot of guys that watch my videos that fish the lakes that I fish. So I don't talk too much about the baits that really do well. But the rattling Storm Arashi square bill was doing awesome. It was a good change up from the KVD 1.5. And for whatever reason, 
they discontinued the rattling version of the square bell. Really makes me mad on that. So I've been looking around trying to find a bunch of those as well. But this is a great color here. And then last up, I think we got, yeah, I like this. This is called like Dirty Shad or something like that. Good little color there. Kind of chartreuse. So those should work pretty well. And then from Storm, we also got the uh, Top Walker 11 in that black shad. Good looking color. Which I'm not sure if I'll get hit on top water right now. It's been been pretty chilly out. Uh, let's see here. I think all next week, I th actually think the next two weeks, highs are only like um, not even barely 50 degrees. All lows are in the 30s. So winter's approaching pretty fast. I really like the looks of this. I like the size too. This is the Rattling Cover Pop by Arashi. Really like that size. This is a three and an eighth half ounce. Again, that black shad type color, black silver shad. That's hot. I like that. I keep looking at my phone and screwing me up which way to turn this. We got red mouth. We got the red uh, feather there. Pretty cool. I really like that. That could be one, maybe, hopefully, my new uh, go-to popper there. I really like that. See how it works. Another pack of Zacos here. Green pumpkin. And then these I'm just trying out for the first time as well. These, these are another like thin type uh, rattle trap here. These are the Duo Vibration uh, 68. These again have that real thin profile to them. Supposed to um, be able to reel them a lot slower and still vibrate. They start up a lot faster. This one there is the, uh, is there a color on here? Uh, let's see here, Neo Pearl. Really like the looks of that. That one there, then we got, ooh, this one really looks nice. Yeah, I like that. This one is called, uh, what's this called? Gill Halo. Pretty nice. Blue gill type color. And then, of course, we got a craw type color. Really like this one. This one's called uh, Red Tiger. Yeah, I like that. So besides the red eye shads, I'll have some other lipless to play around with. I mean, it's a great time to throw a lipless crankbait right now. That's the receipt there. And the last up, guys, this video is way too long, but it'll be a pretty good test to make sure all the equipment works. Uh, this package right here, this package is actually from Kitech. They reached out to me. I guess they heard about how upset I was that the black shad was discontinued. So their color they just came out with, I believe it's called, you know, I'm not even gonna say till I open it. Let's see here. It's called Alwai. Okay. They reached out to me, said that they just got this color in. It's pretty similar to the black shad. They wanted me to check it out. So uh, they were nice enough to send me one. And I tell you what, guys, it is very, very similar. Even uh, the belly, I mean, the belly is almost identical. A little more flake. Tell you what, guys, we, we may have a winner here. Okay, here is the new color. It looks like the difference, okay, the difference would be the LY color, if I'm saying that right. It looks like it has some gold and purple flake on the back. And then the belly looks identical. Even like they're on the belly, there's, there's this little like, I don't know if you guys can see that little darker spot there. That's the same on the black shad. And the belly has more flake in it. Looks like some black flake, a little more silver flake. But overall, guys, especially in the watercolor that I fish, I mean, it's not gonna make a difference. I mean, this could be the new black shad for me, the, the LY color. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But let me take this out of the hook here, or off the hook. Give you guys a little more, or a little better comparison here. 
Here I was in a major panic about this color and this one actually could be a little bit better with that gold flake. You guys know I love gold and that muddy water. That gold really does pop well. If you guys can see that there, I mean pretty similar. There's a good shot of the belly there. Yeah, I mean, that is pretty close right there, guys. That's a little more flake. And normally, I like black shad on a, on a cloudy day. It doesn't have as much flake. Now, you could throw this one on a, or on a sunny day as well with all that flake in there. It would pop pretty well. Um, on a sunny day, I like that, um, that gold flash minnow. But without a doubt, guys, this new color here, I mean, I guess you could almost call it like a black shad improvement. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's very, very close. And uh, for sure, I'll be buying more of this color here. Now, talking to her, uh, the owner, I believe this is the, let me look, just double check. This is 3.8, uh, the 4.8 which is the size here, the size that I'll Texas rig. This won't be out till, in this, this color won't be out till 4.8, I believe until like January or something like that. I could be wrong, but um, you know, I'll be done fishing anyways by then, the lakes will be froze. So I won't need these again till, um, you know, March, April, something like that. So I'll have plenty of time to fix them up when they come out. But guys, if you're looking for that black shad replacement, I would have to say for sure, uh, this one here will do it. I'm sure that's probably why they discontinued the black shad. Now that I'm seeing this one, uh, they just made it a little bit better uh, with this new color here. And, you know, I do like the the little in the flake. If you guys can see that, that's in there. It's not a huge flake. That gold, a little bit of like purplish blue flake there. Small flake, but um, it's gonna pop really nice on a sunny day. So guys, that's it. Sorry the video so long, but you guys do like these unboxing videos. So there, you got 20 minutes to watch of uh, me showing you guys some tackle. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Real appreciate you guys watching. Hit that bell if you're um, already subscribed to the channel. Hit that bell so you guys uh, get notified of new uploads. If you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate a sub. Check out some of my other videos. Like I always say, guys, there is a little bit of everything on this channel. Like I said, from boat mods to tackle to fishing. I mean, you guys don't think I have any fishing videos on here. I probably have a playlist with over 50, 50 or so fishing videos, if not more, um, real cleaning videos. I mean, you name it, it's on this channel. Check out my videos. Hope you guys enjoyed them. Thumbs up. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Thanks a lot.